Hey, what's up? I'm Amobi Kugo. I'm here with my guy, Jake Atkins. We are at the Atkins Family Vineyards, and I'm here to learn all about wine, sustainability, and what it means to support local. Yeah, so what's it like being in a family-owned business? Being in the family business means everything. Uh, it's legacy. And uh, having the, uh, the restaurant, the Sheldon Inn restaurant, the, the vineyard, the solar company as well, being involved in this portion of the, of the business where I can help people come relax and have a good time, it, it, it means everything. With our vineyard and our business, they kind of all go together. So our, all our wines are solar powered. So uh, solar energy going into the production of the wines, the making of the wines. So zero electric costs going into the wine so we can make a higher product at a lesser cost for the, uh, for the consumer. And uh, in fact, we actually have some food waiting for us at the Sheldon Inn. Oh, where? Uh, see, so. that's what I like. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. It's been a restaurant the last 30 years. We just took it over four years ago. And it used to be an inn, which is where it got its name, the Sheldon Inn. It used to be a market. It used to be a town hall. It used to be a post office. It used to be a lot closer to the road. Yeah. And then they, a long time ago, they moved the whole building back. Um, yeah, been, been quite a few things. But last 30 years, it's been a restaurant. The reason why I won Best Date Night in Elk Grove is because it's quiet, it's intimate, it's classy, dim lighting so everybody looks good. But uh, yeah, you can come here, great, same great service on either side. Um, and when we took over the restaurant, we did a little bit of remodeling. The, the layout of the restaurant is pretty much the same, but we added the wine closet here. We new lights, new paint, uh, you know, new wall decor here, new chairs, new tables, table, added the tablecloths, linens, new menus. Pretty much everything is new. Uh, but uh, except for the floors, the floors are actually some of the original floors. We just refinished them a little bit, but if you kind of notice the, the little holes yeah. going through, well, that's from women over the years wearing their heels <laughs> walking through, so you can kind of see a little bit of history here. So one thing you talked about was like legacy, and I love that because I'm all about legacy. So can you speak about, you know, what you guys, like what your mission is when it comes to, because you guys provide weddings, the history of this specific location in Elk Grove. Can you speak on what it means? Yeah, legacy means uh, everything to me, especially in this area where it's, it's the old part of Elk Grove. Uh, it's such a historic area. This building's historic, like I said, over 100 years old. Um, we have tons of oak trees that are 100, 150, 200 years old. And uh, there's just so much history here that uh, the town of Sheldon, which is part of Elk Grove obviously, but the town of Sheldon, there's a, a historical society that tries to keep everything as uh, original as we can as possible, but still with growing with the times and, and needs that people need out here. Uh, uh, you know, obviously down the road, down Grant Line Road and really everywhere there's new housing developments being uh, built, uh, which means a lot more families coming in, and we're right here. So we want them to come in and create family memories and kind of like how I had growing up in this area and, and uh, coming here my whole life, and then now we're four years into owning the place. I never would have imagined growing up being in this restaurant and then uh, being having such a, a hand in creating what it meant to me growing up and have a, create a new experience with their families. And uh, whether that's, hey, they got married here or did vow renewals or did a, a birthday party here or uh, just coming in for family dinner every Tuesday like I did growing up. So um, legacy is everything in this town. No, I really think it's amazing. What I also like is the sustainability, you know, not from just the solar business, how you guys transferred it and connected it into this winery and the restaurant, but also, you know, the herb farm, the the fruits in the bag, the olives that you guys grow. So can you talk about that, like that interconnectivity? Everything that we, we're on about seven acres here total uh, of property and there's, uh, there's olive trees, there's orange trees, there's, um, uh, persimmon trees. There's we have, like you said, we have our herb garden. The the uh, nice cocktails that our bartenders uh, create. Like if it needs a, an orange wedge, well that came off our orange tree. Or, so it's really cool to um, have those resources. Not just like oh yeah, it's a farm down the road where it's local, which is still cool, but right here on the property. So it's like hey, we need more whatever. 
and we go right out, grab it, okay, and then somebody can enjoy it that night right there. No, uh, that speaks to what I mean when I talk about like support local. So if someone were to tell you like what support local means or someone were to ask you, what does it mean for you? For me, um, especially being from this area, uh, supporting this area as much as possible. For me, uh, not just this area, but Sacramento as a whole, um, looking at a larger scale, um, because Sacramento, even though it keeps growing and growing and growing, it's still such a small area compared to a lot of other places. And, um, and not just people-wise, but uh, network-wise. I'm so excited for not just Elk Grove, not just for the town of Sheldon, what we have here, um, but for Sacramento. Because uh, I, I, I truly think that the national narrative of Sacramento um, is changing. I always talk about that. It's like everyone thinks that Sacramento is just being Sacramento. These existing regions outside of it, it brings it all together. Absolutely. And I really want to thank you for taking me yeah. around Atkins Family Vineyards. And um, now to the fun stuff. You got to teach me about this wine. All right. Okay. First and foremost, all right, how's my shake? Because I know that's important <laughs> when you're at dinner. You got to have the. See, like, it has to, you see? So, take me, take me through it. Okay, so starting with the shake, I mean, it's, it's not like a, hey, I got wine in my glass. Barely even. It's a spit. Okay. It, so you gotta smell it? You really gotta stick your nose in there. <laughs> um, yeah, so you do that. And then you wanna listen to the wine, and cause you really so, wanna, you really what wanna level, hear what the what wine. What expert are you on the wine thing, on the wine doctor list that you I'll tell you this, I know exactly what kind of wine is in here by doing this. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's another trick, I'm totally kidding. Don't, <laughs> don't do that, <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the ear things, that's not a thing either, so don't do that either. So I feel like I'm part of the family. Just joined the wine club. Now I know how to do the shake. <laughs> I know the difference between red and white, how long it's been aged. So I gotta thank my guy, Jake. Oh, you can't bring it down. If you bring it up, you gotta drink, right? If you cheers. Oh, if you cheers. There you go. Cheers. Yeah, but for real, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Had a great time. Yeah, thank you. Glad you came out. And I uh, look forward to having you in here quite a bit more. Respect.